Eight months ago, I tried to learn tattooing in 24 hours and bought my first supplies. I also did my first tattoo on my brother, which was so much fun, but till then I haven't practiced tattooing at all. I was just thinking about it. Should I invest so much time and effort and even money into supplies, into learning tattooing, if it's something that actually I'm not gonna do because it scares me so, so much. I decided to actually try it out, so yeah. I just received this package, which is super special because I have the last supplies I need to start practicing the doing on uh, fake skin and everything. So I'm so, so excited. Yeah. As you know, I have the main things like my tattoo machine and ink but I didn't have all these extra little things that you need when you started doing. The main thing that I needed was of course some stencil and also the solution to thin my ink and create my grey shades and then also I want to try out some really thin needles so I got one round liners to just test out really thin lines and delicate tattoos and of course other things that are really simple like bottle and even some wooden tank I don't know how to call them and napkins and maybe some gloves so really basic stuff that you just need to have around in order to tattoo this is the first day so I need to get a bit organized yet the guys from real skin sent me a bunch of things and I'm so excited to have so much fake skin to practice on so and right now I need to figure out I'm gonna cut them and use them so I can have enough for every day and everyone says that it is pretty much the best fake skin out there and more close to experiencing the feeling of tattooing real skin so big thank you to the guys on real skin um, thank you so much for supporting my journey into learn tattooing and I cannot wait to test this out and see how they actually feel yeah a lot of a lot of skin <laughs> Starting on my first official practice session, it was the first time that I had to how a tattoo artist would set up his station and I really wanted to be very responsible throughout this whole process of learning to tattoo at home, taking everything into account in a more professional way rather than just joking around in my bedroom and cutting up bad habits that later on when I will actually do real humans and maybe my friends or people that actually trust me enough to create 
permanent art piece on their bodies will sew up. So I wanted to make sure, because after all this is a self-taught process, that I am picking up good working habits from having a clean setup to how I approach my designs and transferring and then of course tattooing. I will talk about my setup and showcase everything that I use and how I prepare my space more later on but right now I have my first three stencils and I'm about to tattoo the first three designs. Now going into the second session and having a much better idea of how everything works and what I need, the main change I made was adding a soft material under the skin I was tattooing because I needed something to absorb the vibration and not being so harsh and having just my desk was way too hard for the tattooing process. So I actually added another fake skin, then on top I placed the usual black waterproof napkin. Now let me show you how I transfer the designs from the iPad onto the fake skin. In order to find the exact size that fits into the fake skin I have cut, all I do is just place it over my iPad, kind of zoom in and out in order to get it the way I want it. Something like this. And then I screenshot in order to have an image that won't move around. Then I go to my photos and find the screenshot, but still, if I place my hand on the iPad, I can still move it around and lose the size I have made. So for this reason, I start a guided access, which is by triple tapping the power button. Now I can tap the screen without moving anything around and I can trace it so easily. The guided access can really turn your iPad into a light type of tracing pad because now the screen is not moving around and you can just do whatever you want. And to get out of the guided access, all you have to do is again triple tap the power button and enter your passcode. Yes, yeah, so and now I'm gonna trace the design on my tracing paper and then do the stencil.
So this is another random day practicing tattooing at home. Today I woke up and I had the search to tattoo a Pokemon because me and my brother have been talking all about the lands of the new Pokemon game and we're so freaking excited to play together and go catch some Pokemon. So yeah, I really want to tattoo a Pokemon today. I almost never wear blue, but it fits so nicely with my orange hair. This is one of my brother's favorite Pokemon and I cannot wait to actually show him these. Creating all the stencils by hand is always pretty helpful when you're trying to learn tattooing because you get to practice the design twice or just the outline and get to know the design better but I'm starting to get really annoyed by creating stencils by hand because it is so frustrating when you don't see a line or a line doesn't come out perfectly because when you trace a design twice, one with a pencil and then one on top of the stencil material, it just gets so annoying when you have to retrace everything on top of each other and the lines start to get a bit wonky and yeah, I really, I would love to have a stencil machine or a stencil printer because this would be so much easier and I honestly believe the designs would come out even better. Before I get started, also one thing that I want to mention is how freaking awesome it is to see a tattoo artist do a freehand stencil on the human skin right away and then just going into tattooing. How can someone actually to a design without having clean lines. I don't know, it just seems so freaking amazing and difficult. I'm so blown away by these artists that create freehand stencils. It just, it looks so, so freaking hard. This is my usual setup, so I have my ink, needles, of course fake skin and stencil, some Vaseline and also always have closed the original design so I can look at it and make sure I'm creating everything alright. 